Juan, what are we cooking? Well, it's one of our winter December recipes. It's a fall and winter time favorite, Spanish tasso ham and mac and cheese. Oh, that looks like a great recipe to go with this Clarissa Bon Rouge for December. Sounds good to me. Great. You know what the first step of the recipe should be? What's that? Pour the chef a glass of wine. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Please do. Let's do it. All right, bud. Here we go. Oh, my favorite part of the recipe. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. Oh yeah, that's gonna work perfectly with this. It's so nice. Now, does this wine work really good with the, the fat coming off the tasso ham? Absolutely. The slower you cook it down and render it, you're gonna get a lot more of the flavors out of, with the wine. It's gonna cut through a lot of that fat and really give you the flavor mm. of the ham. I think we're gonna go ahead and start the bechamel. Sounds good to me. Behind every good mac and cheese, there's a bechamel. So, That's right. very simply, put the fire on, and we're gonna throw... Just a small amount of butter? Just a small amount of butter. Is there ever just a small amount of butter? No. And all we're trying to do is just melt it. We're not trying to brown it. All right, so I just put the flour in the butter, and usually, like the key on this, is you really want to get that nice golden brown flavor with the roux. Um, because let me tell you, color is flavor. So sometimes your roux will eat up a lot of milk, Sam. Mm -hmm. So I just have some leftover milk here. As you can see, it just streams a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna prevent that and just put the rest of the smoke in. And that should be just fine. The bechamel looked really good to me, so what I did is I went ahead and put the fontina cheese in. Um, I did it off heat. Um, I definitely don't want anything to separate. Um, just kind of sit in there and melt really nicely. And then what I'm going to do now, see it gets kind of stringy and nice, is put the leeks, peas, and tasso hams that we caramelized so beautifully in all that butter. That's going to go in. And you can see all that tasso ham just leaks out so much flavor. So and that's gonna be the real flavor in this dish, is that beautiful ham. So at this point, I grab the pasta that's been cooked off. Um, I never rinse my pasta off because it keeps all those nice starches on it, that thickens it too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with all that cavatappi curly pasta. What type of pasta did you put in again? So I put in cavatappi pasta, and you can get it at any store. It's, it's usually the one I like to go to when I do mac and cheeses. It's fun, it's curly, and it seems to hold a sauce really nicely. Mmm, looks great. Definitely came out extremely nice. Always make sure that you want to grab a little ham in there, some peas. No vegetarians allowed for this one. Definitely not. It's going to be so nice with that wine. And then some fried onions. 